Hello, my name is Dara O'Brien. You may see me on such shows as Stargazing Live or Robot Wars. And I've written a show called Beyond the Sky, which is kind of a guide to you and how you can explore space. These are the kind of people I'd like to read the book. People who want to explore space. And to explore space, you have to be brave, because obviously it can be very dangerous. And there can be you know, black holes and exploding planets and noxious gases and things that will kill you all over the place, right? You have to be smart, because you know, you've got to fly a spaceship, or maybe you've got to go and you know, build a robot, or you've got to look through a telescope and know what you're looking at. And you've got to be curious, because you want to see what's happening in the sky above you. So that'd be brave, smart, and curious. That's you. That's so you. This book is so perfect. We are 93 million miles away from the sun, okay? And light is the fastest thing that travels in the universe, right? Because it's it's, it hasn't got any mass, it's got no weight to it at all. So it's the fastest, it zips along, right? At the speed of light, you've heard that phrase. And that means it takes eight minutes to get the 93 million miles from the sun to where we are. And that's a long journey, but it does it in eight minutes, right? But to get from the middle of the sun, where it got made, to the outside where it can start that journey. Just that bit of the sun, just a bit of the, like just from the middle of the sun to the outside of the sun. It takes that bit of light, that little photon it's called, a tiny bit of light, a million years. So the bit to us is the fast bit, but the ping, 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 just to get out of the sun, a million years. The best things about being in space, the floating would be pretty fun, has to be said, just effortlessly pinging yourself off walls. But probably it's a view. You know, probably the bit where you turn back and look and you see the whole planet, like, in this size of a window. And you can go, oh, there I am. Especially because you're looping over and doing these orbits. So you go past your house, you know, 15 times a day. And you go, oh, there I am. Oh, there we go. Still looking good. So that'll be good. The worst thing about being in space is the fact that you start getting thinner and weaker from the moment you arrive because we're constantly walking around being dragged down by the planet because of the gravity so our muscles get used to just fighting against the fact that we really just want to slump and fall all the time so uh, every moment we're walking around we're exercising basically so when you go up there that's not there at all so your muscles have less to do and they just waste away a bit so they have to do two hours of exercise but even then if you ever see astronauts land when astronauts land here they're just in bits they can hardly raise their arms I mean, they get back to health quickly enough, but like, they're like, uh... I would not be a great candidate for astronauthood. Um, I'm a little old at this point to be doing it. The training is quite rigorous and you need to not vomit. That's a big thing in being an astronaut because it's quite shaky and floaty. And, and I went up in a plane once that does that, it just goes like this and then during part of this you're at zero gravity and you're floating and I, I, on about the 16th of those things I felt a little bit ooh, and there's kind of a oh, and the face went white and it was all a bit oh you're just going to sit down for it if I was going into space what five things I'm only allowed to bring five things in fact I'd imagine if you're an actual astronaut you're not even allowed to bring five things um, well, it's obviously it's easy to bring, you just bring obviously like a tablet computer because then you can put movies and, and, and books and stuff. Photos of home because it's got to get a bit lonely up there, that'd be another thing I'd bring. Um, uh, and so which games would I bring? <laughs> which, can I, can I bring one of my big consoles? Would that be okay? Is that because that, it's got all my saves on it? Is that, is it? See the problem is you, when you're bringing stuff into space, it's really, it's very expensive to bring heavy things up. So they probably wouldn't let you bring really light things. So you could probably bring one of those handheld ones. Yeah, that, one of them. I'll bring one of them as well. So I've got photos, I don't have, I got one of these. I have music, I have, and I have, I have some chocolate that I would hide and then I would sell it to the other astronauts about a month into the mission. <laughs>